Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SINT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Crazy movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on it. So let's get some levels of support mapped out, then we can talk levels of resistance. First level of support that I'm not gonna call a, a, a must hold, but it's definitely a very, very important level is down here at $1.85. Why is $1.85 important? Again, I'm not saying this is what's gonna occur, but if the price were to go down to $1.85 and then just continue down through it, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? Well, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range of the chart that today it broke out from. And not to insult your intelligence, but when price movements uh, you know, break out of things, if they're truly strong, well then the price isn't gonna go back to where it was inside of what it just broke through. And that's what that $1.85 mark is representing. Now on the flip side of thing, nothing can go straight up. So even if the price were to come down here, but then in this situation behave like that and work its way back upwards, well at least at this point in time, from the big picture point of view, you'd have a set of lows there, you'd have those lows down there. And if you envision those as, stair, well you even have a low down there. So if you envision each one of these as stair steps, Overall, the stair steps would still very clearly be going in the upwards direction. So that's why to me, like I said, $1.85, I'm not gonna call it a, a, a do or die level, but definitely very important because it, it's helping to show whether or not the price is making progress or if the price is you know, going back to areas of the chart where it already was and is broken out from. What about levels of resistance? Initial area of resistance gonna be right here at this former area of support, and that sits at $2.35 if the price can push up through $2.35. The next level after that, right up there at $2.65. So 235, 265, two key areas of resistance. Right now, uh, it matters, but it doesn't matter. But in my opinion, top priority is not breaking levels of resistance. Top priority as of right now is just simply trying to stabilize and making sure this you know current pullback doesn't you know pull uh, you know fall out of control or anything like that. Um, and you know just make sure that it goes through a healthy consolidation. Like I said, the most healthiest that I could go through is just by staying up above $1.85. So let's see if the bulls can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.